it's very important that you can determine the relative amount of biomass between the trophic levels in an ecosystem. So producers have the greatest biomass because they are the foundation of the food chain. So they have the most. And that decreases with each trophic level and the apex predator population will have the least amount of biomass. And each trophic level as you go down the line just gets less and less and less as you go. This can also be illustrated using an ecological pyramid, a biomass pyramid, and you can see here that the producers have the most, that's why they're on the bottom, the widest part, and the carnivores would have the least biomass. And so it's pretty simple. The reason for this is that the energy gets lost as heat as you go between the trophic levels. And without that energy, the organisms cannot turn the food they eat into their own molecules and cells. So just like energy goes down as you go down the trophic level, so does biomass, and those concepts are very closely related. So looking at a practice problem, which of the following statements about the biomass of each trophic level is accurate based on the food chain shown above? So we want to remember that the producers have the most biomass, and then that gets reduced all the way down the food chain until you get to the end, and that population has the least biomass. So as long as you understand that concept, then we just have to think about each statement. So A says the plant community has less biomass than the mosquito larvae community. Well, the plant community are producers, and they have the most, so they don't have less biomass than any other population, so that cannot be correct. B says the population of dragonfly larvae has more biomass than the mosquito larvae population. So the dragonfly larvae are after the mosquito larvae. So they would not have more, the dragonfly larvae would have less. And so that tells me that B is also not correct. C says the beetle population has a lower biomass than the dragonfly larvae population. Well, the beetle population has the least amount of biomass in this ecosystem, and so that would mean that they would have less biomass than the dragonfly larvae. They are after the dragonfly larvae in the food chain, and so that matches up with everything I need it to match up with, and it looks like C is the right answer. But we always want to go through all our answer choices just to make sure. D says the population of beetles has more biomass than all of the trophic levels. Well, it doesn't have more biomass. It has less biomass than all of the other populations, and so that is not correct. And C is definitely my answer. Our next question says which of the following groups of organisms would be expected to have the greatest biomass in this ecosystem? So I'm looking for the greatest biomass. Now this is a pretty straightforward question, but here's how they're trying to trick you with this food chain. Normally you see the producer on the left side of the food chain, but this food chain is actually going in the other direction. So my producer is actually over here. Notice how all the arrows are pointing to the left. That phytoplankton is my producer, and so I know that producers have the most biomass, and so that means that phytoplankton is the right answer. And question three asks, why are pyramids the shape that is used to depict the relative amounts of biomass at each trophic level? Well, remember, we talked about how producers have the most and how it gets less until you get to the top and they have the least. So that's why we use a pyramid. Now let's see which answer choice describes that. So A says all of the food is converted into heat at each trophic level. And the reason this is not correct is because of that word all. So all of the food is not converted into heat. Remember, 10% of the energy does go into the next trophic level, and that's used to make new uh, molecules and tissues and cells. But 90% is converted into heat, but that's still not all. And so that's not what's happening. It's not all converted into heat, so A is not correct. B says energy is distributed equally amongst all the trophic levels, and that's just not true. 
and it doesn't even answer a question even if it was. C says each trophic level supports a smaller amount of biomass, and that's what's going on. I've got most and then less and then least. And D says organisms get larger in each successive trophic level, and they're trying to trick you with that. The individual organisms do often get larger, but the population as a whole has less biomass, and so that's an important distinction to understand. And so C is my right answer.